matchup in the men's heavyweight division. This match will define one half of our finals later today. We have Felipe Pena in the white and Felipe Andrew in the blue. Both guys going to guard early. Pena, the more veteran of the two. More accomplishments to his name. But Felipe Andrew, to this point, has looked nothing short of impressive. With valent performances yesterday, yesterday against the likes of Muhammad Ali and Marcus Bouchesha. Does he have what it takes to overcome someone as talented? And with his story of a resume is Felipe Pena. Our referees have reset them back on the feet. When a double guard pull takes place, you get about 25 seconds to work. And, oh, wow. Felipe Andrew nearly catching Pena in a triangle. Pena does what he does so well, scrambles out of it. Awarding advantage for his efforts. In blue, representing Team Lloyd Irvin Brazil. Do not blink with Felipe Andrew. He's on the he's on the ankle lock here. Gustavo Felipe Andrew has absolutely devastating straight ankle locks. And as I had mentioned in Pena's first matchup, he's got his ankles taped up like boots. And I don't know if this is strategic or if he happens to have an injury, but right as I say that, Pena gets himself out of danger and takes Andrew hard down into the mat. And now he's past the guard, nearly past the guard. If he can free his, his right leg here from the grip of Andrew, and he does, and he secures a guard pass. That does not bode well for Felipe Andrew. He was taking it to Pena, and just a couple mistakes there, getting out of position. He now finds himself on the wrong end of a guard pass, down 5-0 to Felipe Pena. This is sort of what happened with his match uh, with Bouchesha yesterday, and obviously with Bouchesha, everything's a little bit of a different animal, but he was really taking it to Bouchesha and then made a couple mistakes and then the wheels really fell off the bus and that's sort of what's happening here. He's not mounted yet. He's, he's kind of in a quarter mount at this point, but Pena now with double unders here and he's gonna be able to, he's, he's basically out and now he's mounted. And now he's got a pretty massive deficit built. Pena now up. 12-0 over Andrew. Boy, how things can change in a short period of time. This match was 0-0. Swinging towards Felipe Andrew just moments ago as Andrew was snapping submissions and taking it to Pena. And after he threw that straight ankle lock, he got a little bit out of position, gave a guard pass up to Felipe Pena, and then it's been all Pena since then. And it just goes to show you, you cannot give someone as talented as Felipe Pena, any space, he will take it from you and he will make you pay. And that's what's happening to Felipe Andrew right now. He's getting, he's making Pena pay. And now I think we're going to see a really exciting match if he can get out of here because he's going to basically have to go for broke. The idea that he's going to score more than 12 points on Felipe Pena here in the next six minutes doesn't seem all as likely as the fact that he could potentially submit him. And so I think that's how we're going to see him work. Pena now trying to navigate the guard, keep himself out of harm's way here. Working for the back here, trying to set a twister hook for the back, spinning up to the mount. Alternating back and forth, trying to take the back, trying to take the mount. They wind up with Pena on top, passing the guard of Andrew. Andrew rotating up, nearly securing a sweep here, but not quite. Closing the guard here on Pena now. And don't let this 12-0 score fool you. Felipe Andrew is an extremely talented guy, as we saw yesterday in the open weight division. Now, what we're seeing here with this point deficit, especially against someone like Felipe Pena, we might be seeing sort of his greenness at black belt. And what I mean by that is he's still new. He has not had a lot of these big moments yet. 
This is his first year at Black Belt. The Black Belt learning curve is steep. As we've seen with Nicholas Marigali, sometimes talent can triumph overall, but it can be really hard to navigate these veteran waters consistently. That can look like a tournament performance or it can look, at it, look like performances match to match. There's no doubt about it. The talent is here with Felipe Andrew. But there is a learning curve here at Black Belt and learning to navigate that may be the key for him taking that next step. And listen, he's not out of this match yet. He's still got a deficit. He's down 12 to two now. He just scored two on the sweep. At any given time, this is what makes him good. This is what makes him talented. He's, he can score submission on Pena. And Pena here now with another sweep, building his lead. But Andrew is in all out mode right now. He pretty much needs a submission to win. He has got double digit deficit to recover from and I don't know many people that score double digits on Felipe Pena. In fact, none come to mind. Felipe Andrew's shooting those triangles well, but Pena keeping his head low, which is keeping him out of harm's way. Felipe Andrew doing a good job of keeping his guard from being passed here. Props to Felipe Pena. He is, he is definitely not shutting it down right now. He is still going for it. He's fighting this match as if it's 2-2, not 14-2. He may feel a confidence with this lead that he is just at a different place in his career than Andrew is and that and, and maybe isn't and, and maybe in some cases isn't giving Andrew the respect that he deserves in terms of the challenge that he presents, or I guess the danger that he presents, and this is why, is you keep seeing these triangles that are thrown up by Andrew, and they're not particularly close, but it's not something that I would recommend that Felipe Pena put himself at risk for with a double-digit lead. Andrew now on an ankle lock. Again, like I said, straight ankle lock is something he is particularly strong at. And as taped up as Felipe Pena's ankles are, I would have to imagine that he doesn't have the world's healthiest feet. So Felipe Andrew, if there was an area to attack, this might be it. And he's got a nice ankle lock here. He's got it. He's got it tight. You can see a grimace on the face of Pena as he relieves some of that pressure here and pulls the leg of Andrew over to the other side. And Felipe Andrew doing everything he can to keep him in bounds here so that he can keep the pressure on this ankle lock. Never able to keep the pressure quite long enough, but here's the thing. You could tell by Penna's face that he was in trouble there for a couple moments. Penna now on a calf slicer here on the back. Penna now into a bear trap. Both these guys <laughs> I set a pretty furious pace for this match. And we've got still a little under two minutes left to go. These guys are having fun now. This one's just fun to watch, guys. Oh! Cleveland Andrew nearly on a knee bar here. Pin is shaking his head saying, no, no, it's not close. It is close. It's close. It's close. He's got pressure on that knee. Oh, what a shame. Reset on the boundary while in a knee bar. Felipe Andrew is going to get two points for this, but I'm sure he would much rather have that knee bar back. And I can see our referees here having a little conversation, making sure that they do want to award two. I'm sure that they want to, I think they were double checking with each other to make sure that they didn't want to disqualify Pena here. Pena was working his way out of bounds somewhat intentionally there, but it wasn't really at the time 
when he got caught in the knee bar. It was more whenever he was navigating kind of the ankle lock. Oh, just an advantage. What a shame. One of our judges thinks it should be two, as does everyone in the crowd. Nevertheless, we're getting our money's worth out of this match. Although 14 to four, both guys are fighting like it's dead even. Felipe Andrew now with a takedown here. He's gonna make the score 14-6, but Felipe Pena still with a pretty strong lead here. It's gonna take even more than a guard pass here to even get close. And so Andrew's best bet at this point really is to catch one of those legs again or to hop on some type of submission from standing. He's going back to an Estima lock here. If it wasn't for that early mistake by Andrew, where off of the ankle lock he surrendered 12 points to Pena, we may be seeing a totally different match here. Andrew has completely turned the tides here. No matter what happens in this match, I think we're all gonna, we can all agree that we're gonna tune in to Felipe Andrew matches now and into the future. This guy is exciting to watch. We haven't seen the last of Felipe Andrew. He's not gonna go on and advance to the men's heavyweight finals. Not this year. But I would be surprised if we don't see him in the finals at some point. This guy's destined for greatness. This is his first year at Black Belt. There's plenty of lessons to learn from these performances this, at this year's World Championship. Number one, advancing to the final, representing and He's gonna face Baja. off against either Patrick Gaujo or Keenan Cornelius.